there yet. yet. Oh, oh rats. rats. Well, well y'all will get, get it, I'm sure. sure. But, but we've, we've got, got a strap while the iron is hot, hot so, so it'll have to wait. To wait. I managed to trigger, trigger an alert, alert within, within Parallax Network, Parallax Network security, security, and they're going to be moving their logs, logs from one secure, secure server, server to another. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. Welcome to Stardust. You again? All right, I'll let you in. But you better stay out of trouble. Hey. I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? All right then, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in, but if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest, I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. I can't help it. Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. That I know of, anyway. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shoutings of identity and existence, they exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with. But it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. 
Petty vandalism is beneath me, uh, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles in the mid-2030s legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. <laughs> Perhaps I will visit, once this is all done with. Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. Hmm, I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light, perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? <sighs> and we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. Parallax lock, AN-19 security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? I was wondering when you'd get there. You're at the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened, and you're on your own if you get caught out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. Let's go inside, and I'll call Tomcat. This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. Oh, I forgot you can't see in darkness. Maybe that switch over there adjusts the lighting. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Howdy! Y'all at the access node? I'm set to slice in once turn makes physical access. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself, and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just patch yourself into the Lynx terminal down there, and I should be able to get started. Connecting wirelessly to it... now! Permissions granted. Please be careful in there. Don't worry, though. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. One sec. Oh, shoot. Y'all have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. This system's still running on old cassettes, and the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. There should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Pretty sure all that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were separate from data networks? <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Figure out how to do that, and hit me back up when you've done it.
to this poster, the data cassettes can only be moved by using the links panel to control the utility arm. pressure on them to move the data now, and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. You would have thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but this mouse is happy to play while the cat is away. Now y'all just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. Surveillance camera footage. Oh, oh God. Oh, Turin. <sighs> I'm so sorry. What is it, Tomcat? What did you find? He's... He's gone, Turin. Of course he's gone, Tomcat. That's why we're here. Shit. I, I mean, he's gone, gone, Turin. Hayden, it, Hayden is dead. Well, that obviously isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? Can you send me the relevant files? You must have missed something. I, I don't think you should see it, but if you're sure. Parallax, the head security cam footage from the hallway outside Hayden's apartment encrypted on their network. Just a short clip. It looks like Hayden started to struggle with a couple of big dudes when they broke through the door and one of them shot him. I also found some chatter about it on some darknet channels. It wasn't a kidnapping. Somebody went there to murder him. I'm so damn sorry. Thank 
you for your assistance in this matter, Tomcat. I think I'll walk back to the apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. If you'll excuse me, digging through this data until they kick me out of the system. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. Maybe I can find something out about who killed Hayden and why Parallax has a copy of the footage. It ain't much of a silver lining, but we have the answer on Hayden's fate. Maybe it's time to call it quits. See you later. back. You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer, far ahead of his time. I am a machine, and intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions that make humans so emotional and brilliant. But his code is a flawless replication of that inside my own personality algorithms. I don't think I've ever felt this... this anger. It fouls my processors and fills my RAM with frustrating, half-finished plans of revenge. My motherboard burns in my casing from how little I can rest. I'm in pain and I can't make it go away. <sighs> I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him. I... I could. I can disable those modules. But if I turn off every emotion I don't want to feel, what does that make me? Would I still be me? If I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. There is a wealth of information on the MeshNet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. It is my way of honoring him. It may be the only way I can. I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? Its death is unfortunate, but fitting. Yet another thing to be guilty for. Will... Will you keep helping me? I need you. To find the b bastards who killed my progenitor! this. I don't know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. Good. We'll make sure they get what they deserve. I'll see to it myself. For now, we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. We'll talk 
after you've had some time to rest. You likely need sleep, and I need some time to... I... need some time. I trust you slept well. I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. <sighs> now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Since your journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. So far, I might have expected a more inquisitive nature with those we meet, especially on a strong lead. People will listen to you more than they will me, so it's important to dig deep when possible. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. Let's pick up the pace a little in this regard then, hmm? Your strong investigative prowess will prove invaluable. Don't forget that. Beyond journalistic persistence, let's take a look at how we've performed in other responsibilities, specifically our choices in overcoming obstacles. Our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. Furthermore, I am pleased with your utilization of non-violent methods. Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. Finally, I was quite impressed by your ability to adapt on the fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. It's important. Well, those kids we ran into managed to escape us. So for now, it's a blank. Jess is a bit of a harder read, but she did agree to help us out in a big way. As long as her brash nature doesn't tempt you to lash out, I think things will go smoothly. Rivers was good to involve as well, and I can tell you enjoy having a familiar face around. She could prove to be our greatest aid, as long as we make it worth her time. No funny business. Tomcat seems to genuinely care for our cause, and I have no trouble with letting their expertise guide us. Out of everyone else, they seem to be easiest to get along with, too. And finally, you and I. I must say, we have worked together better than I ever expected. I hope you feel the same. I feel confident in our combined ability, and I enjoy your company as well. Please, continue showing me around the city as we continue our search. Unfortunately, we've just about run out of leads. Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. I hope so, but I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. Always going so far for Hayden. They must have been close. Speaking of them, incoming call from Tomcat. Forwarding video and audio. Morning. Huh. How you been doing, huh? I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. 
Well, okay. Say the word if I can help out in any way, you hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax servers before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it's unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, Used to meet for other corporations, but about as useful as dirt to us. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind this. Though, I, I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. Seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things are changed up. A word here, a phrase there, it's subtle, but often has a big impact on the article's tone. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Her name is Zen. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. Hmm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... Alright, I'll pass the word along that you'll be in sometime today to stick your noses in. And I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Excellent! Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. No problem, Turin. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. You've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. So, uh, I'm here if you need anything. Understood. I apologize for my tone, Tomcat. We'll be in touch. Alright, later turn. Okay, we have a lead, however tenuous. I've highlighted the Cos IO Corp office building on your map. Also, while we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Displaying. Ah, greetings. I hope you'll forgive me for a voice-only message, but I'm undergoing my treatment and would not call myself presentable for a video call. Still, I wanted to inform you of an idea I had while looking into our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. I haven't had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax, but I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Flores, who may know more about the nature of Hayden's research. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them, on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Melody and I are no longer on speaking terms, so I'm afraid I can't introduce you. But perhaps the intrigue of Hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home. I hope this lead serves you well. <laughs> 